Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my first video tutorial. Uh, my name is Damien or Carnival King as you probably know me from Instagram. Um, today, uh, in today's video I'm going to be talking about what apps do I use to um, edit my, my photos that I post on Instagram. So I'm just going to talk about these apps. Um, in future videos I'm going to be talking like how do I do it the process I use so this one is gonna be like a shorter video uh, okay so let's start after a, a few years I have tried like so many apps from the App Store that you can use to edit the apps and they actually um, they work pretty well but after all this time like I came to like a few only a few apps that really work for me so okay I use in total around four apps that I use to edit my photos but uh, two of them are essential for me those are the the main apps that I use and the first one it will be Lightroom CC for iOS or for like iPhone or iPad and this app you can find it on the App Store uh, for free actually but you know it has some limitations I personally pay the Adobe subscription for like $9.99 a month which includes the Lightroom and the Photoshop apps for my computer as well as the full version of the Lightroom app for my phone and for my iPad. You can still get it for free but you know you're gonna have some limitations. You can try it and you know you, you will see if you wanna pay it or not. Um, the second app that I use is also a free app and it's called VSCO and um, is this one okay so this is Lightroom this one right here on the left and this is where I did um, mostly my photos so it's the main app and VSCO is this one here I'm gonna put it here so you can see the name okay that's gonna be the second app that I use to edit my photos the third and four apps are um, this one it's called n light that's another good app that i recommend a lot i mostly use this app for um when i need to clone like erase people or objects from a photo i use n light which is this one here i really recommend it it's very i think it's very known you probably saw it before and the four app that I use, it, it will be um, this one here. It's called Eraser. Um, of unfortunately, um, this app doesn't have a version for iPad. But if you use it for iPhone, it's fine. You will see if I open it here on my iPad, it will go like sideways, and you have this arrow here to make it like bigger or smaller. But you know you can still use it on iPad if you want. And that one eraser I use uh, um, mostly for if I want to insert an object on a photo. For example, let's say I want to uh, put some birds or something like a plane in the sky. So I use this app to, um, you can get a photo, <coughs> sorry. If you have a photo that you took from another place that has birds, you can use this photo and erase everything that is around the birds and just take the birds out of the photo and then you use um, N light you can also use N light to insert those birds in the photo but we'll, we will talk about that in another video so right now I just want to talk about the four main apps that I use to edit my photos so it will be Lightroom the first one Lightroom then VSCO the second one N light the third one and um, eraser it will be another one right now I am um, trying to learn a little bit about um, this one here this is a very good app but it's only available for iPad um, it is called um, affinity photo this app is is kind of like the Photoshop of tablets you know because you don't have Photoshop in in tablets so I really use the tablet because for me personally it's very very useful to to have a really light 
um, gadget that you can carry everywhere. I mean, I, my computer is, is pretty slim, but, you know, it's kind of heavy. And I also love to use the, the Apple Pencil, which is very useful and feels very natural to, you know, to kind of like paint on the photos and like adjust everything with the, with the pencil. So in my opinion, I really like the iPad to do it. So that's why I I download this. Well, this one I actually bought it. This one you have to pay it. I think it's like twenty dollars Affinity Photo, but it's very good. Like it has like everything that Photoshop has. For example, I was doing this um, this photo that I was um, learning how to use it. So I did it here in the in the iPad. So you can see you have all the layers like Photoshop. So it's really awesome. I'm just um, starting to learn how to use it so yeah right now I, I don't I'm not there yet but I'm <laughs> I'm learning so slowly so once I know the the tricks and how to use it of course I'm gonna share some tips with you guys but right now I just wanted to talk about the four apps the four main main apps that I use so in the in the meantime while I do the next video you can you know, go to App Store and download these four apps if you want. You can get, of course, the free version of it. Uh, you can, you know, start trying to, to play around. And in the next video, um, I'm going to talk about... I have this photo here that I took um, today. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the these sliders here. So we're going to start editing photos. I'm gonna talk about about how to um, use each of these and what they for. So you're gonna understand a little bit better how to how to use them for your photos. Okay, guys. Um, if you have any question or anything, you can let me know in the comments, or you can you know send me a DM on my Instagram or whatever. You can leave it on my um, on my. A web page um, www.carnivalking.com um, in the section of tutorials it's gonna have um, a comment section below that you can leave comments if you want or you can leave it um, straight in the YouTube video okay I hope you could um, understand everything I'm trying to make these videos in English It's a little complicated for me you know I speak Spanish, so it's much easier for me to, to do it in Spanish, but I know a lot of you guys speak English, so I wanted to, to do my best and try to make it in English so everyone could understand how do I do this, and I wanted to share these tips with you. So, okay, if you like this video, um, you can, of course, give me a thumbs up or, you know, share it with your friends if you know anyone that would love this video. And, and thank you. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Uh, right now I have um, a total of maybe 10 videos that I have in mind so I don't know when I'm gonna upload the next one but you know I was thinking maybe every two weeks or three I'm gonna upload an, another video so you guys can continue um, learning so you know everything depends of how much time do I have I of course I have a, a job um, besides this um, hobby that I have for photography so you know I'll be trying to to make this video as quick as possible but of course you know be patient and I'll be there for you guys if you need anything let me know all right I'll see you in the next video ciao ciao